Hi everyone, my name is Monica Martinez and I am going to cover using Jamboard for breakout rooms if you're using a tool like Google Meet or other um, video tools that allow for breakout rooms or if you're simply wanting to use a tool like Jamboard for group work in real time uh, where you're doing brainstorming or reflection uh, either on the fly or as part of activities you're having your students complete. On the screen, you see a Jamboard that I've already created and I already have my content. So I've added some text, uh, an image, and then just some sticky notes so that my students know that they're using yellow sticky notes to answer question one and the pink sticky notes to answer question two. Now, normally I would review this as well with the students as we're looking at what we're gonna do. I would cover that. I would say use yellow, use pink uh, for question one, question two, question two, et cetera. So let me backtrack a little bit. For those of you new to Jamboard, you just simply go to jamboard.google.com. Uh, and if you're logged into your account when you get there, uh, it's going to allow you to then just create a brand new Jamboard. So I'm gonna copy that really quick and show you how I even got to um, this to begin with. So jamboard.google.com, I'm gonna hit enter. And once again, if you're already logged into your Google account, you'll end up on a landing page that won't look like mine because I already have a lot of Jamboards. But if you've never created a Jamboard, it'll be empty. What you're looking for down here at the bottom right is that uh, little plus button. If you've already done Jamboards and you'll see a couple on your screen, um, and then again, simply just click on the plus button down there at the bottom right to create a brand new Jamboard. Usually the very first thing I do is title my Jamboard um, so that it gets saved. And so I'm gonna call this demo and then click on okay. You can always go back up there and, uh, and change that. After that, what I normally do is just start by adding my questions and also naming my, um, my groups, right? Because I'm using this for either breakout rooms or for group work. So the very first thing I do is grab my text down here at the bottom left. So this is my tool menu over here on the left-hand side. I'm gonna grab my text box and I'm just gonna create um, uh, my title. So let's call this breakout, uh, breakout room one. And I'm gonna expand this because I like it going across this way. Okay, so that's breakout room one. I'm gonna grab my text box again and I'm gonna click on here because this is where my questions are gonna go or uh, whatever it is that you're adding as far as that group work. So let me just come back over to our example that's already created. I have two questions that I want my students to work in groups to be able to answer together, right? So I want them to discuss these questions, answer them together and put their thoughts using those sticky notes. So in the interest of, uh, of saving time here, I'm just gonna copy that come back over to our demo and then just paste that in. And I'm going to adjust this and move this box down and obviously fix the fact that I have two Q1s there. Okay, all right, there you have it. So this is all I've done to set up my question. And then to set up the sticky notes, you don't have to actually do this. Your students really might know where that feature is already, or you could tell them, go grab a sticky note and use that. I like to sometimes use it to designate colors related to questions so that we can keep things organized. Um, so, and I just normally, you know, put something like that, like this is, or um, use, yeah, uh, use yellow sticky notes here whatever it is that you're um, adding there. So you you can customize the message in there as you'd like. But I like to include them because it lets students know, okay, we're gonna use the yellow ones. Again, you don't have to um, actually do that. Um, okay, and then from here, I'm just gonna simply copy, paste, and then grab this one and put it over here. Let's say this is question two. I'm not gonna worry about in this demo actually typing a different question, but you get the idea. Um, so we have our question two, and you saw in my example that I brought in an image. So I'm gonna go back to my demo and show you, once again, in our toolbar over on the left-hand side, we have our um, tools, and one of those is the add image option. I'm gonna click on that. It goes to this window that gives you the option to upload if you already happen to have those images on your computer. You can search, do a Google search image. You can also search in your Google Drive as well as photos. And if you were intending to capture something like 
you or something you have in your classroom and you want to take a picture, you could certainly do that. And of course, if you have the URL, you could also select that. We're going to upload from my computer. Um, I already have some images that uh, I'm using for this example. Um, so there's our uh, fake meme. We know it's fake. We're going to add this uh, onto our board. It comes across quite big. So I'm going to shrink it down from the corners. It adheres to its dimension so it doesn't stretch it or anything like that. And then I'm just going to position it where I'd like. I do want to show you really quick that when you uh, hover over the uh, object like I have here, three little dots appear in the corner. And when you click on that, it does let you put things into order. And so if you do want to layer things, you can put things on the front and the back and so forth. And you can also duplicate if you needed to use this photo in, and ask different questions in, related, in relation to that photo. So drop in the photo, we're good to go. Once again, if you wanna add sticky notes, you could add sticky notes on this side and what have you. So now we've gotten to a point where we have it all set up here in um, this particular example. But what I want to do now is create this very same slide, you know, that has these very same questions, but for all five of my groups or all 10 of my groups or however many breakout rooms you have or how many, however many groups you are forming with your students. Um, and I don't want to have to retype all of this over again. Uh, if I click and drag across, you'll notice it doesn't select it. If I try to multiple select holding my shift key down, it doesn't. Uh, multiple select. So this isn't like Google Slides where I can multiple select items, copy, and then go over to another slide and paste. I don't have that ability here. So what do we do? Because I don't want to have to do all this work all over again. Well, for those of you who are new to Jamboard, up here at the very top, you'll notice a tiny little triangle just below your frames. Right below it is a tiny little triangle. We're going to click on that little triangle. It's going to pop open uh, a menu. And here you'll notice there's a couple of things. You can add more frames um, to the right or to the left. And then three little dots right here says duplicate. So this allows me to duplicate this particular slide. Uh, and then I can duplicate, duplicate, duplicate for as many as I need. And if I end up with one extra and I don't need it, I simply come in here and say delete. Once you create all of your slides, I'm going to go ahead and close this um, bar there. And I'm going to go to my second one because I need to change up here at the top, it needs to say breakout room two or group two, whatever it is that you're working with, whether it's in breakout rooms or in just group groups. Um, so I'm going to come in here then and make that change to room two. And now my students know that when they get to my Jamboard, um, all the students designated to room one are supposed to be working in here together. All the students designated to room two will be in here working together. So that's the idea there. Now, once you've gotten everything set up and you're ready to share this, I did want to show you that um, you can um, share your um, your boards, your jam boards, um, using the blue button up here at the top right hand side. And I wanted to show you there's different ways you could obviously share this. You can invite your students directly to the jam board from here, giving them edit rights. You can uh, allow people if you're a presenter and uh, you want to do a demo of this, you can um, change this to anyone with a link and edit. This is a really good way to demo live <clears throat> and have the interactivity and not have to collect um, your users, your attendees, uh, uh, Google accounts. Um, so you can do that as well. The other way that I like to share if I'm actually using this as part of a course. Um, so if you've got your students in Google Classroom, for example, um, in here in Google Classroom, you can make an announcement. Um, and this is really more informal. It's not meant to be a, uh, an assignment that you're assigning your kids individually, but really it's more informal. We want to get together in a Jamboard to further discuss this topic. I've put you guys into groups, and that's exactly what I've done here, just simply adding an announcement to um, the stream page within Google Classroom. And all I did was add the details. So this is all just text. And then I linked the board. So just to show you here, I'm going to click in here and then just call this demo. And then uh, go to add. And from these options, you select link. And then you're going to drop the link in here. So going back to where we shared um, our, let me just go back here. So let's just say we wanted this link here. I'm just going to copy that. 
and come back over here and I'm going to drop that link in here and then click on add link. And that's going to add that to this post. And then I'm going to click on post here. Uh, and just a quick little tip here. I'm going to drop down this menu. Um, you can also schedule this in case um, you are building this on the weekend and you don't want this to go out until Monday. You can certainly um, schedule that. Okay. All right. I'm going to cancel that because this is a little demo. If I were to hit post, this is what you would see as the end result. And so now when your students go to their Google Classroom, um, classes, they're going to see this as uh, an announcement in the stream. And all they have to do is click on that uh, link right there. And that is going to take all of them over into your um, uh, Jamboard. And they'll be ready to hop into their room. Um, so they just toggle through here to select their room. And once they're in there, they can start working with their colleagues, answering the questions, adding their feedback. So that is how we can leverage the use of uh, Jamboard with both breakout rooms. Remember, again, you, you have the ability to use breakout rooms in Google Meet, as well as other video conferencing tools like Zoom. Um, and of course, if you're not using that platform and you want your kids to just work collaboratively in groups, um, then you can certainly do that without necessarily using the video tool. So very flexible in how you can use this. I hope you guys picked up some ideas here and uh, I hope you find this tool useful.